All right, fellas, real quick today, what I thought we'd do is I went to see The Revenant last night. And I've had a lot of people ask me on my YouTube channel what I thought of that movie or what my opinion was of that movie. And, you know, I kind of keep my opinions about things on television and the movies to myself. But it's entertainment, remember that. And there was a lot of good information in that movie. And there was a lot of interesting things that you learn about history in a movie like that. The way they dressed, the equipment they carried, things like that is all interesting to me. One of the things that I saw in that movie that interested me the most was if you paid attention in the first part of the movie, when Hugh Glass started the very first fire that he started, he actually pulled a fork out of his haversack and he used that with a piece of flint as a striker to ignite a bird nest that he had poured some black powder into, if I remember right. And I thought that was really interesting because, number one, to be able to do that, the back of that fork, the high carbon steel in that fork, would have to be very, very hard to be able to become a striker, very much like the prison on his rifle. But the forks could not be that hard, or they would be brittle. Now, the one flaw or fly in the ointment that I see with something like this is, A, if this is just going to be a food, meat-eating fork, that's fine. But if you're ever going to try to use this thing to tie it to a stick, to cook meat over a fire, something like that, you would probably affect the heat treat within the fire steel portion of this fork. But we're going to recreate this today. Stay with me and we'll get started. All right, so we got all the hammering done. Now we're just kind of softening the edges with the sanding belt. Getting everything the final shape we want. Going through and kind of sharpening our tines up a little bit on the sanding belt, on our fork. Kind of rolling the edges over on everything. Now, I'm pretty sure that the heat treat is going to be the trick on this thing. To get this thing to be a fire steel, but yet not make it brittle in the fork. So we're just going to heat up this bottom side and treat it like it was a fire steel that we're normally making. We're pretty much going to ignore the fork part. We're not even going to quench it at all. We're just going to quench the fire steel portion. Hopefully that will give us what we want. 
almost to the point I want now where I want to go ahead and do that. Just trying to get my final shape where I want it. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's handmade. I'd like to get it close though. standing in that bucket of water with the fork sticking out because as soon as I pull it out he's going to rise back up through the coldest part so if I leave that cold in the bucket with the forks up it should give me the proper heat treat for a fire steel without messing with the forks and making them brittle we'll find out it's an experiment all right so for the test here Alright, so here's our flint striker slash fork. Works really, really, really good. Throwing actually surprisingly good sparks to me. But it was a pretty simple project and I wanted to do it for you guys today real quick and try to recreate that item from the movie in case anyone was interested in seeing how to do that. This was a piece of raw 1095 stock. I appreciate you guys joining me for this video. I thank you for your views. I thank you for your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.